Oh, that's not a pure EV. Oh, the drivetrain's too complicated. Forget, just for a minute, your opinion on the whole extended range EV argument. Forget it, just for a second, and listen to what I'm about to say. This is probably the best vehicle I've driven all year. I'm Will, that is the Li Auto L9, and this is China Driven. The Li L9 is absolutely bursting at the seams when it comes to tech and features. If you want to know more and fully grasp what this car can do, then check out some of our other videos. Today, what I wanted to show you were some creative and interesting ways you could use the Li L9 if you were to own one from mobile sports bar to huge traveling battery bank. But first, let's do a quick rundown on the Li L9. The best vehicle I've driven all year is a lofty claim, but nearly all of that comes down to the fact it fits its brief of a family vehicle down to the letter. It's got a sole purpose and it achieves it. Let's start with the Li L9 supposed weaknesses, so to speak. It's not going to return you any sort of driving pleasure. But then if you're buying a full size 6 seat SUV for driving dynamics, then you might want to ask yourself a few tough questions in life like, Am I insane? Does my brain work? And should I even be driving at all? Another ludicrous complaint I hear online is, the boot's too small, I'd rather have a five-seater. Mostly solve that issue, and if you really need five people, then just do this. Between this and the space down the middle, you should be able to manage most of the occasional odd trips where you need five people and a bootload of stuff. Okay, now its weaknesses are out of the way, let me tell you what it will do. Everything else is the answer. Flexibility at its best. Headlines, 330 kilowatts of power and 620 newton meters of torque, meaning zero to 100 kilometers an hour in a nippy 5.3 seconds. Air suspension is standard and it's pretty damn competent. You should go check out our video where we put it head to head with the BMW X7 and the Mercedes GLS on kind of rough road. Now the AD Max, which is the ADAS suite for Lee Auto, uses its roof mounted LiDAR and cameras to have advanced ADAS features like NOA and it does a really, really good job of making long trips stress free. It will initiate automatic lane changes and it will also help you kind of navigate from one motorway to another. Remember, Li Auto's whole stick is producing family oriented vehicles and this is a large and proud family barge packed to the brim with tech and features. Exterior styling wise, it's a handsome modern looking design with a traditional SUV shape to maximize interior space. And there's loads of space in here. Li Auto do a fantastic job of maximizing the interior space in their vehicles. There's three 3K OLED touchscreens in here, 2160 watt Dolby Spatial Audio Surround Sound System. And this second row has in-seat vibration motors that play along with the base of that spatial audio system. Now, all the seats in here are Nappa leather. The first two rows have heat, ventilation and spa massage function. And the third row has reclining and heat function as well. And a fridge that can even keep things warm. A massive fully animated heads up display, a mini LED steering wheel screen, dual phone wireless charging pads and so much more. Check out our videos up top to really get to grips with all of the features that this Li L9 has. I'm not gonna show you some epic montage of me sleeping in the Li L9, although doing so is super easy and comfortable. Now I did take the Li L9 and my family out for a day to a camping area to have some fun before winter properly sets in. We pitched a tent, got out the camp chairs and had some fun. We've seen this all before, plenty of advertisements from different manufacturers of taking their NEV and going camping. They may have even used their V2L to power something like fairy lights. But it's lunchtime here and we're hungry. Hot pots on the menu. 
So normally when you have a family day out camping, you might do barbecue. My family prefers hot pot. So we simply ordered it, plugged it into the car, and now away we go. It was a great day. My son had plenty of space and time to play around and having the Liel 9 as a portable power bank allowed us to have our hot pot lunch with absolute ease. But what about some other less obvious things you could do with the Lee L9? So it's the World Cup right now, but with it being in Qatar here in China, the late kickoffs are 3 a.m. midweek. I could go to a bar, but nothing is more depressing than nursing a beer or two surrounded by drunks having fun because you've got work in the morning. And having some buddies over for a few sedate beers is likely to result with me being poked awake in the morning by my angry wife. But fear not, because we have the Lee L9, AKA the mobile sports bar. The Lee L9's three 3K OLED screens can be used to stream a footy match. I mean, that's not particularly interesting. What is interesting is that these three screens can display three separate angles of the same match. Now that is interesting. And with a few friends and a couple of beers cooling in the fridge, well, you got yourself a little man cave. Cheers, guys. And when the crowd goes wild, no one is disturbed. Maybe sports is not your bag. Perhaps music is more your thing. Maybe you're a cool guy or girl and you're in a band. But perhaps your other half or family don't appreciate you practicing on a Sunday afternoon in the garage. Spoil sport, but it's not a problem. Just load up all your gear and yourselves into the Lee L9. Once you're sat comfortably, then the world is your oyster. You can go anywhere you want. Using the Lee L9, you can power your band for hours out in the middle of nowhere and be someone else's problem. Take it away, guys. Of course, the Lee L9 is stuffed with screens, so there's plenty of things you can do inside apart from the usual KTV. With a 2160 watt, 23 speaker surround sound system with Dolby Atmos spatial audio, you can really get immersed in a film back here. The seats are pretty comfortable, but they also have small vibration motors in them that really intensify the deep bass whilst you're watching a movie. It's also got the time of flight camera, so you can do things like this. Okay. And if you like gaming, then you can plug a switch in and do some gaming up here on the screen in the back. Better yet, you've got a friend, play two player, and it doesn't matter if they're in the back seat with you or not, because even if they're in the front passenger seat, you can mirror the screen to their screen as well. So you can play two player no matter where you're sat in the car. I mean the Switch, we've seen it all before, but you could plug in something like a PlayStation and do some proper gaming. As long as you've got the right lead, of course. I mean, if you had a small tablet, smaller than this, then you could always just plug it into the car, grab a Bluetooth keyboard and do a little bit of work, maybe a bit of typing, maybe a bit of editing. Some of these things are just for fun, but with the Lee L9 having all this space, all these screens and a super comfy ride, it makes it a perfect family vehicle. There's no doubt about that. Having a vehicle with V2L ability allows you to do some things that otherwise would be a complete hassle. I'm not suggesting many people are going to host a concert with this car, but if you wanted to, you could.
If you haven't checked out our other videos about the Li L9 and the Li L8, be sure to go and do that. This video was just about some of the fun and creative things you could do if you owned a Li L9. I'm Will, that is Li L9, and this was China Driven.